week is the end of the quarter. So make sure you need to start over because I didn't say welcome back. Good morning, NPC. I'm Rachel. And I'm Liana. And this, this is NPCNN. NPC Today is Monday, October 9th. This week for chapel, we will have discipleships discipleship group on Tuesday. On Thursday, we will have a special 45-minute chapel with Amani Children's Choir from Uganda. You will not want to miss it. Friday, we will have a special Hispanic Heritage Chapel in the gym. On Wednesday, juniors are taking the PSAT. But we also have some college visits coming up. On Tuesday, we will have Choir Zone with us. Wednesday, we'll have Dort. And on Friday, October 13th, we'll have U of M. Now, off to an athletic update. Welcome to Adam's Atmospheric Analysis. This week will start off pretty calm, but later on the week, it may be a bit rainy. See you next time. What's up guys, it's Henry with your Hispanic Heritage Month question of the day. Our little factoid for the day is that in Kent County, the top five countries of origin for Hispanic or Latino immigrants living here are Mexico, Guatemala, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. Uh, today's Hispanic Heritage Month trivia question is, which are the top three Latin nations, sorry, Latin American nations represented in the entire United States? Also, last week's question, from which country did most Latin American countries declare their independence? We got, again, only one answer from our man, J.J. Rathbun. The answer was Spain, and if you would like to uh, pick up your prize, make sure to head to the high school office immediately. Back to the studio. Thank you for those announcements. Next week is the end of the quarter. It is also a short week. No school Thursday or Friday for fall break. Concert season is upon us. Next Monday we'll have middle school and high school band and jazz band. Choir and orchestra will have a concert the following week. Now, off to a word from our sponsors. Are you interested in going to France and Spain? Well, it's your lucky day. Miss Trayer and Mrs. Bradenbell will be spending time in and around Paris and Barcelona. If you are interested in attending, please sign up soon and see Miss Trayer or Miss Bradenbell for more information. All right. Hi guys, I'm here to talk to you about an opportunity that's coming up this week, Friday, October 13th. Um, and it's for a field trip about marine technology. So if you're interested in engineering, robotics, or marine biology, this field trip is for you. It's open to anyone in high school. You don't have to be on the robotics team, and it's not a promise that you're going to be on the robotics team. Um, we're going to be heading up to Traverse City and we're going to be looking at the engineering behind fish hatcheries as well as talking to some companies that create underwater ROVs which are remotely operated vehicles um, for the Coast Guard and the military, military and then we are going to be building our own underwater robots that you'll get to drive in Lake Michigan. So if you'd like to come, come see me in my classroom and I'll give you a permission slip. Um, I would like those permission slips back by Wednesday of this week so that I know how many I can plan for. Welcome back. Happy birthday to Danny Melton, Kaya DeCorn, Kennedy McBeanie, Charlotte Monaco, Evan Schneider, Elliot Bogues, Sawyer Bogues, and Mrs. Tibby. If you have anything else you'd like us to announce, you can email us at mpcnn.fbfish.org. I'm Rachel. Yeah. And I'm Liana. Have a great week. Have a great week.